Hello everyone, in this video we are going to show you how to use the Invest Coastal Vulnerability Model. Similar to the other models, we need to first navigate to the Cities in Nature homepage and click the Invest button. This is where you can find the introduction of Invest as well as the details of the four models. In this video, we are looking at the Coastal Vulnerability Model so click data requirement and you'll see a list of key input here which is required to run the model. Some of the variables are required whereas some are optional. For the optional variables you can choose to enter your own values. If there are any values that you are not very familiar with, you can check out the glossary section for the definitions. Click the link at the bottom of the table to download all the input data. Here we need to download the Coastal Vulnerability Central Region file. Here we are looking at Central Region only and if you're looking at Queenstown or Central Area, you'll need to download the other corresponding files. Once the zip file is downloaded, make sure you extract all files before uploading them into Invest because otherwise the model won't work. The names of the folders correspond to the names of the data entries inside Invest. Next, open Invest and find the Coastal Vulnerability Model. Open and you can start uploading the files. Let's start with the first row, Workspace. Click the folder icon and find the folder that is named as Workspace and upload. The next one is Area of Interest. Similarly, click the folder icon and find the folder that is named as Area of Interest. Select the file that is in the format of SHP and upload. The next data entry suggests that the data input here should be a number. So if you refer to the data requirement table on our website, this should be 100 as suggested. You can choose to enter your own value if desired. The next one is land masses. Choose the one that is in the format of SHP and upload. For the rest, we'll repeat the same steps find the name and upload the files and for the data entries that are numbers refer to the data requirement table for the suggested values for example here the maximum fetch distance is 30,000 feel free to pause the video here to check that you have uploaded everything correctly and once you're ready you can run the model click run and when it's complete, the model complete message will pop up. Click open workspace because this is where the output files are. To view the output images, you'll need to open QGIS, which can be downloaded from their official website. You can view, render and export your output files from here. The outputs generated just now are under the Coastal Vulnerability folder. You can select properties to render the images. You can select your own preferred color combination, but it's better to keep the color combination consistent for a given model. Once you've rendered all the maps, you're done and you can discuss the outputs with your teammates. Thank you, and if you have questions for the other models, please check out our other videos.